beautiful people and welcome back to another first time reaction video and today we are checking out easily easily one of the most requested for anime openings from all of you and that is Noragami. Now let me know if I'm pronouncing that right in the comment section. This has literally been screamed at me for so long and I am so excited to finally hear what all the fuss is about with this one. So I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. But before I jump into this one, I just wanna let you guys know a couple of things. First, we are gonna be live on Twitch tonight, 9 p.m. UK time. Link is in the description. Why am I saying that? Well, because this reaction was actually voted for by all of the chat on Twitch. They said this is an anime opening they'd all like to see. They all voted for it. And now, regularly on Twitch, we do anime opening live votes. So if you wanna be part of the next vote and vote for an anime opening yourself, Make sure you follow me on Twitch, link is in the description. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. When we hit 200,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a huge gift card giveaway to all of the subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss out. Other than that, I'm going to shut up. Let's jump straight into my first time ever reaction to the Noragami openings and endings. I like this a lot already. I know I'm literally like 20 seconds in. This, I like this a lot already. This is a really good song. <laughs> Very good song. I was literally just about to say, I feel like this opening is giving away nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was watching it and I was like, what the hell is this anime about? Pff, fuck if I know. Nothing like nothing. And then, out of nowhere, they're like, they got they suddenly got powers. One of them teleported. They Two of them jumped into the sky. One of them had a sword. One of them had a gun and they were fighting. And it just like, it felt like a drama. And then it was like, nope, it's crazy action. Um, Yeah, I, I have no idea what it's about. None. At all. Um, fucking zero. Anyway, there's two openings. Let's check out the next one. I, but actually, what I will say is the flipping song itself, um, I love the song. It's very, it's very fast, very epic. It reminded me a little bit of um, Wet, the song for Wet. I don't know if any of you know that. It was a video game a while ago, but it's a really good song. <laughs> Again, that fast-paced, epic, sort of like old school, I don't know, the like underground rock. I don't know what the genre of this music is. But holy shit, it's very fun, very fast, very energetic. Um, the animation for this looks very interesting as well. I am very curious because Noragami, I've only ever heard good things about it. Is it black and white? Hey! 
Look at this! Oh, look at him! I enjoy both of them. Very good openings. Very, very good openings. I'm really curious about this shot. So, it seems like it draws a lot from traditional ancient uh, Japanese history based on what they were wearing with the sort of combat and the outfits and that sort of stuff. That's what I got from it. Um, in the first opening, the woman with the boobs, that's how I'm going to call her, boob woman, she had guns. And in the second one, she had a giant ass sword like she was flipping Nero from Devil May Cry or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what this is about at all. Literally nothing. Uh, school kids who fight each other and have special powers. That's what I got from it. Um, the animation, I'm very curious about though, because I don't know if the opening art style is the animation. If the opening art style is the animation, then that's really interesting. Because the animation looks very unique from from everything I've seen. Uh, especially with the colours. Um, however, if the openings are just black and white for art reasons, then again, still very interested. Um, but yeah, I've got two endings to check out. Let's jump into the first one right now. It's interesting, so it seems to be following the sort of pattern uh, you see with um, with anime openings and endings, where the openings are usually a bit more faster, a bit more epic, a bit more energy, and then the endings, they bring you down and they pretty much want to put a tear to your eye every single time, and they usually have some fantastic female vocalist to come in and just break your whole heart, and that's exactly what we've got here, beautiful voice. The guy in the bin, by the way. The art style is very interesting. That was cute. I like that. It just ends with her putting her umbrella over those two. I'm guessing they're all friends or something. I, I love... One of my favourite things to do is when we do these anime openings or anime endings is trying to work out what it means. And um, I love that. I really love doing that. It's one of my favourite things to try and work out what the anime is about from these openings. And the reason I love it so much is because the openings don't help you. <laughs> the openings, if anything, just confuse you more. Um, and the endings are usually quite subtle, usually around one scene, or sometimes it is like they're very simple. You don't usually get much in the endings. Um, but what a beautiful song that was! Really, really beautiful song. I I love that. Amazing singer, amazing song. Really liked it. We got one more ending called Nirvana, um, which I'm looking forward to checking out. But yeah, Nor Noragami has a fantastic soundtrack. Stunning. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, Devil May Cry Free. Devils Never Cry. I didn't know Devil May Cry 3 had a soundtrack. Interesting. Anyway, that just popped up in the recommendations. Let's jump into the ending theme for Noragami Nirvana. Let's go. This is just really making me want to go to Japan, by the way. Why have I not visited Japan yet? I need to. I need to visit that beautiful country. I've got to go there. Oh, man. 
these songs just make me feel so mellow. These two, are, these two endings, so so beautiful. Are they like? So, I, I, they're just so beautiful. <laughs> Such lovely songs. <laughs> That's interesting. So the more he's running, the more he's getting cut by, I'm guessing, what are shards of glass. You can see more cuts forming on his face. I can't tell if this is a fantasy or a drama anime. Was that the same shrine that uh, in the openings we saw someone had left out like carrots or something? Is that the same one? Am I losing my mind if I say that? I thought it was. Noragami endings and openings. This anime has been so highly praised, so highly talked about since I began my journey. There's a few that whenever I'm live streaming or in my comment section, I always see them regularly pop up. One that used to pop up a lot but hasn't popped in a while is like, help, I, I turned into a slime or something like that. I've been reincarnated as a slime. Um, another one, because I said I might do some Patreon exclusive anime reactions to a bit more Risk A stuff. And I think one of them was called like, is it High School for the Dead or something like that? Um, people seem to want me to react to. But I have said, I'm not going to react to anything that's too much on that side of stuff. Um... Because, yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> be very weird to, to record a reaction to that stuff. But, yeah, I am, like, uh, stuff that wouldn't be uh, available on YouTube. Um, what's another one? There's a couple that have been recommended so much. I see popping up all the time. Blue Exorcist. Um, I definitely recommend. Made in Abyss. Recommended tons. Um, Tokyo Revengers. When I first started this journey, Tokyo Revengers was recommended so much. And, yeah, it's gone quiet now. People don't seem to be recommending it a lot. Ruby. I am reluctant with Ruby because of like the creators behind Ruby and that sort of stuff. I'm a bit reluctant. I don't know if people really want that. Um, but if people do, then yeah, I'd be happy to check out Ruby. I, I will separate that from, you know, I mean, if you know, you know, because <laughs> um, Ruby's an American anime created by the same people that did Red versus Blue, which is Rooster Teeth. Um, but yeah, Noragami. This has always been number one at the literally at the front of the queue when it comes to praise. Everyone says this is a, an absolutely perfect and amazing anime. And uh, from looking at it, it looks extremely unique, very artsy, very visually stunning. And I have no clue what it's about. I couldn't tell you if you asked me. I don't know. Um, I would really like to find out. So many of these openings, and I said this to everyone because people ask me sometimes, they're like, oh, you seem to like everything you react to. And I always say this, it's... Um, I'm always honest and I'm always genuine. If I don't like something I say, the amount of openings I've done where I've gone, ah, I didn't really like that song. And I'll, you know, we go on to the next one. Um, but what I always remind people is this channel is run by you guys and you guys recommend stuff and I then react to it. I don't pick the stuff to react to. And all of you are always going to recommend your favorite stuff and the best stuff. And therefore, I'm 99% of the time going to be just seeing the best and the favorite and all the awesome stuff. Which is fantastic for me because it just means I've just got like an endless playlist of not only music but shows to watch. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like, imagine having a radio show. This is what it's like being me. Imagine having a radio show but every single song is a viewer requested song. That's what it's like. So I'm there, imagine I'm in a big radio booth, I'm there and, uh, and I'm just like, right, here's our next song sent in by a caller, Bobby Bobinson from Bobtown. Play. Like, I have no idea. Every time. That's what it's like doing this channel. It's so much fun. I just, I like, you guys give me loads of awesome music. <laughs> I love you guys. And loads of cool anime, which I never even thought I would say that. It feels, it still feels weird saying it. Because, um, like, a few months ago, I had no interest in ever, like, watching anything to do with anime. And now, I've just realized how awesome this whole world is. How much there is. How much there is to explore. And how I haven't even scratched the surface. Like, I feel like we've fallen in the rabbit hole. 
But at the same time, I don't even feel like we put one foot in it yet. This journey is never, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's the, that's the best way I can describe crazy. But Noragami, the opening songs, loved them. Loved the style of it. Very curious about this show. No idea what it's about. I'm sure some of you can give me like a brief sort of rundown without spoiling anything in the comment section. Love the endings. Love the slower sort of pace and the emotional weight to them. But yeah, do you all think this is an anime I would enjoy? What's it like? Where would you guys rate it? What do you think about some of the ones I've recommended? Uh, I've said people have recommended and also... What is an anime that all of you think I would enjoy? Let me know in the comment section. And what is an anime opening or openings that you will think I would enjoy? Let me know in the comment section. But yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you tonight on the live stream. 9pm UK time, link in the description. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss out on those gift cards. If you're not subscribed and we hit 200,000, you won't be getting any. So make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, other than that, I hope wherever you are in the world, you have an absolutely awesome day. Thank you so much for spending some time of it here with me. I appreciate you all so much. I really do, by the way. I'd be nothing without all of you. And don't ever forget that. This doesn't exist without all of you. I love all of you. And as always, my friends, you see me in the next video.